I was christened at Asbury. My grandfather, Leon Thompson, would go around and pick up his grandchildren. To this day, I don't know how we all fit in that small car. How many but, were you? Wow. Well, so in my family, over time, it's six. And um, one of the families, the Marshall family, there were eight. And, the, and then uh, there were the, um, the Madisons, there were two. Uh, and so he would pick us up, whoever was going. We got in that car and we went to church. <laughs> and he made sure that we had the worship service experience, the Sunday school experience, and the bonding experience of us as a family. Uh, I think we understood about respecting and honoring our elders and getting along and having a strong family bond. And that was the Sunday experience. Asbury was the beginning values. And that was throughout, you know, from the time I was probably um, preschool through high school. Uh, my grandfather passed when I was in the sixth grade, but members of our family picked up that tradition that uh, we had. And, and I think we all started moving out of the city into the suburbs uh, as I was graduating and going to college. So it was very interesting. The rule in our family was if you didn't go to church, then you didn't get to do things that you wanted to do the next weekend. So all of us figured out we were going to church, but we, so we could do things. I think for me, it just became so much a part of me. So when I got to Smith College, uh, we had Helen Hill, Hills Hills Chapel, and there was a very ecumenical service that we had. Um, and I got to church. There were very few African Americans that went to the church. I got there, and after a couple of Sundays, that was not the church experience that I had. Um, they sang in Latin most of the time, and I was like, mm, okay, I'm here, but. <laughs> At that point, you couldn't take a car to church. I was in Northampton, Massachusetts, and you'd have to go to Springfield to go to church. So most of the African Americans would probably go to church two to three times a year when they would have a special service for African Americans or a gospel service or a speaker. But I reached a point with the, with the academic issues that I was facing and just being in a very different environment in Massachusetts that I set aside time every week and went and sat in the chapel just to be at peace and to be with my God. And one day, a woman came out and she said to me, Reverend Unsworth would like to see you. And I went back with her and she said, I, he said, I understand you come here once a week and why do you come? And I told him because I need that peace and I need to really pray and just be with myself. And so he said, how about if we have time together? And so Reverend Unsworth became one of the most important people in my time at Smith College because he f helped fulfill that spiritual nurturing that I needed. And I also came to appreciate my Asbury experience because it was not there to get that experience during that period of time. So that helped sustain me over the four years. And also um, during the four years with all that was going on and civil rights and you know just activism, student ac activism, um, I wanted to go to Mississippi for a summer and I was able to get um, the, the chapel to actually pay for me to have that experience, which was very important. So I realized how important you know, uh, church faith was and how important Asbury was to me as a person. So when I came back to Washington, I lived, at, as you said, I lived in Logan Circle and every Sunday I would just walk to Asbury and I became very reconnected with Asbury and with my church tradition.